Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved uh, Phoenix Point blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty where I'm getting my ass kicked uh, by the game. So far it's actually working reasonably well. The game seems to be tame or I'm just lucky. We are going to go to the Maddox uh, where we are needing to explore uh, this mission site and it's interesting that the picture always changes if I cancel the mission and then do a new mission there you go it's a different picture we bring our B team with us who have uh, already leveled up quite a bit um, I actually like what I'm seeing good here we go so retrieve the collection and our vehicle is standing in the front. That's potentially not a good five idea. So first things first. Where is the guy with a funny headdress? Here we are. Andrew. Everyone some frenzy. There are crates. I'm not sure if you can loot from them. Here goes. Good for now. I mean, we're not in a bad spot there. Let's see, I uh, don't want to stand in the open. I think this here is a decent position. Got a sniper. And interestingly, another guy right over there. Moving back with Birdie. Let's get both of them down. Only the heavy got hit, but disabled head leg arms torso i think they can't even shoot their gun at the moment hexer moves into cover goes for the assault Successful though. Free aim with our sniper. Oh. Still breathing. Reload, free aim. Nothing. Disable the torso, that's good. With one dash, we can already get there. Advancing. Identifying target. Tyler moves up. And we're getting that guy down. Cool. Well spotted out. I think we still want Natalia here to give us the obligatory pistol overwatch. And now we can confirm to end the turn. Ah. 
stupid snipers. This guy is bleeding. <laughs> He's completely done done. Birdie. And that would be a nice hit. Good, both of them cannot snipe anymore. Arm or gun? I think we're just going for the gun. Tyler charges or dashes rather. I think we're dashing again. <clears throat> this is actually a decent position here. Can't hit anyone with a grenade. That is taking aim. A bit unfortunate. Okay, so that guy here how can we get aiming angles on him potentially we cannot which means we're just going for full cover Make them bleed even more. Overwatch. Double time. I've got a visual. The Berserkers really have a phenomenal perception. Doing it. Good. Seems like a decent turn of roll. My turn. Again, using another med kit.
Birdie runs a little bit back. Five by five. Taking aim. Good. We're trying to hit his arm if possible. Five by five. On it. Not sure why you can't just throw a grenade in there. I don't fully understand the grenades in this game. That didn't even deal any damage. Identifying target. One. Two. Hostile. Three. And down. Solid torso shot. <laughs> Trying to hit their arms so that they can't use their weapons anymore. Reloading. Moving. Jim moves up. Ready to engage. Kill confirmed. All right, that worked well. Moving out. What's our move? Jim reloads. I'm going. On it. We're getting ready to flank this guy. Catch me if you can. And a sports additional enemies. Sniper in this case. Decides to instill frenzy. Early moves up. Uh, I think that's a little bit of a far shot. as fast as I can. Natalia moves up. Thanks to the inspiration, she's really fast. Tyler moves up, just looking for a decent cover, really. Can't find that, so we're Eyes just open. staying where we are. And Jim moves up. Why we have um, why we haven't been able to hit this guy, but okay. 
Identifying target. Here. Good. Putting us right into a good position. To, <laughs> we need to get up there. Okay, cool. Well, let's roll. We can do that next turn. Okay, so what's our move? Green moves up, and then he jumps up. Bit more sniper ammunition. Trying to reposition. Tyler begins to move up. Free aim. Ah, not good. Ah! I was afraid that that might happen. Not good at all. Good. So that guy is dead. I'm here. Okay, that was a close one. Dashing ahead. Luckily, we healed, right? <laughs> Continuing to heal ourselves. to reload and we're already out of action points confirming target moving jim moves out That was not good. Oh, 
Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, evacuate all Phoenix operatives. He's yet again dazed. Trying to aim. Cool. That worked out well. I'm on the move. Natalia enters the vehicle. Tyler enters the vehicle. Uh, we have the will point, so let's move. We can jump out next turn. We're okay. And Birdie gets out next turn as well. Here we go. I'm gonna do this. Good, more bandits are incoming. We don't want to deal with them. On the move. And as moves out. We're entering the vehicle and the vehicle is driving everyone into safety. Happy end, sunshine and did it. Special mission done. Good mission experience, retrieve the allied uh, antediluvian collection and evacuate gives bonuses okay still haven't fully figured out how mission xp is calculated but i would say it's fine by now and having two teams definitely works out very well in our favor i'm still looking for an aircraft which is large and fast after all the time of research investigation and preparation we have at our first collection of ancient schemas tax artifacts can uh, be unified into a Korean blueprint unfortunately blueprint alone is not enough we need much more a uh, plentiful source of ancient artifacts which our archaeological facility can uh, process using exotic materials to craft new weapons and even then our scientists indicate that we yet need another thing control our special locations using to assemble their technology in the meantime we have identified another collection according to our sources it describes a weapon releasing deadly flechette to an unknown composition 50 skill points have been obtained and uh, the shard gun side has been obtained okay the shard gun is there yeah we can uh, we can do that for now i would like us to move back Personnel here in the base. Tiamat doesn't look good. Manticore, however, looks fabulous, which means we're switching gears. My sources tell me New Jericho has developed a new type of APC. I hope they intend to use it to fight the Pandorans, not their fellow human beings. 
But the real question is, how can you win a war if you don't understand the battlefield? All the vehicles in the world won't help you if you cling to the delusions of the old world. I should know. I remember the wars of the old world better than anyone. An interesting display of faith, but all the great leaders of the old world thought they had plans. And where are they now? Good, we're trading. We need that. And that. A little bit of a trade run here, because we need resources. Two for ten. Two for twelve. Let's slowly but surely try to make our way there. In terms of personal and all of uh, their all of their requirements. So little green has ammunition. That's fine. Tyler needs ammo. That's okay. I think we definitely need a few med kits. One, two, three, four. Not great, but needed. Much needed. And our prime team, just double checking, we have everything, right? There is nothing that we immediately need. Okay, so far so good. Trade here. Four for six, okay. Ten for two, not so good. We want to get there. Good. Our personal with Tiamat is uh, with Tiamat two is still recovering. We're good in terms of manufacturing. Manticore is on the way. That's the next big step. Having the third team up and running. Research complete. And we now have a new virus rifle. <clears throat> That has high piercing, <coughs> which is good. Not a lot of damage, but it ignores armor and it uh, adds virus uh, damage. Three shots, it, it's low normal damage, but decent against heavier armor targets. So I think we will buy, uh, build a few of these. Before we do the mission, I think it's fair. Complete. 
it's fair to start uh, uh, scanning a few more sites. We're researching really fast, which is great. That would be helpful. And this here immediately gives us resources, so <clears throat> might not be the worst idea either. Manufacturing. We got new stuff that we can build. The Redeemer and the Magazine. Like it? Tiamat's personnel is slowly but surely recovering. Everyone's full with the exception of Birdie, who is transferred to Phoenix Point. And we got the new guys transferred to us. Now, there's still room to hire one more recruit. And in the meantime, <coughs> we don't have the equipment that uh, Milena here would need. We'll get it, don't worry. Stanislav needs ammunition and quite a few healing supplies. I speak out of experience. Might take this one here. Short effective range, but better ammo capacity and more damage. Good. Haven Info, 600, 200. Okay, so they do have a Berserker available for 200. Which I'm willing to trade for. Trading here. Four, four, six, exactly what we need. Manufacturing. I know that I can't always build stuff earlier. I want to build that redeemer. recruit our last soldier we need to name the new ones and we'll do that in a second for now let's start with armor what can we offer you Odin armor is a really decent first step Well, you need still need leg armor. Can't give you that uh, that penalty. That's not good.
I mean, look, the Guardian armor is fantastic, but the accuracy penalty is just way too much, and we need to be at least semi-quick. I think for now you're just going to rock Banshee legs. Uh, no melee weapon, that's a problem. We will need to get you a pistol. We will need to get your pistol. Okay, not a perfect pistol, but it's, uh, it's the heaviest that we do have for now. And you'll make it for, uh, for now. That's fine. Not a great soldier to begin with. I think the buggy is better than the three level one soldiers, but uh, that'll change uh, in due time. Now, what are we going to do with our heavily armored forces here? There's nothing more to explore on that side. Well, there are a couple of things in Europe, right? So, hmm. I wonder, shall we trade? have done all of the exploration sites and unless we want to raid um, I think the next targets are actually relatively speaking far away and this ship here is not necessarily known to be ultra fast but we could help exploring here whilst the Manticore explores to the north all right we got a lot of in uh, research but no materials out of it that is unfortunate um we've already traded with these guys haven info Yeah, they have zero materials left in their factory. Research complete. Oh, finally. Very good. Research complete. Pandorian capture and contain... Ooh, ooh. We are close to being able to create technology capable of uh, containing living subjects. Let's... Research both, actually. I like uh, the capturing option. So in terms of manufacturing... Do we have a weapon here? No, we don't. So what we can do is we can now... Manufacture this Redeemer. Oh, almost there, Manticore, almost there. This here requires 50 something something resources. Mattock of the Agents. Oh, that looks like a great resource. Ancient one handed melee weapon. Cool. There are so many things that I'd like to build and try out. 
but we're not going to do that. All I'm doing is the Redeemer, because we need it. And wait a second, maybe a hammer. Oh, a second, you, you and your obsession of building stuff. Well, that's relatively cheap. Construction complete. Training facility in Frozen Circuit, training facility in Bourne in the USA done. Alright, trade here. Two for twelve, that's good. I like it. Two for ten, I don't think that we want to do that. Oh, we are overflowing. But I'd like to do the shard gun. Oh yeah, cool. New mission. We're going to do that the next time. Our prime team will be landing and doing the shard gun. If uh, you want to be part of the prime team, then you need to click that like button. Maybe uh, it'll catapult you right into the team. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.